Hey everybody on YouTube. Today we're going to be fixing a yard cart. This thing's got some, you can see it's, it's rusted, handy down, but still holding good straight. As you will notice, there's a ratchet strap holding that wall off the tire. Um, so, this is brackets you use for make, uh, you take these and use them on shelves, make homemade shelves. Uh, I'm actually going to use one here, and another one will be maybe right here, maybe, where I just wiped off some dirt. The main problem was that the cart was missing. There should have been a bolt here, here, and in here. There's total four bolts in this one bottom half. Well, what's going on is the three, two of the bolts that goes here are this one right here is gone. This one I can still put a, able to put a bolt there. So what I'm going to do is put a bolt there. Um, and then I'm going to try to put a bolt here. There's one more you could put right at the top of here. But I'm going to have to use tappet screws and everything else. Um, yeah, it's got some rust really bad and the bed's breaded out but you know I'm not gonna worry about it because it's gonna be my fuel tank uh, carrier um, so I'll be back with the camera after I get all my tools out of here and um, for my hitch wise I'm using them actually with a lot more bracket that supposed to raise it and lower the wheel so I got one of them and I have it hitched right there with the bungee cord wrapped around it I don't have a bolt to go through that hole yet or I don't have a hole right there, so I'm gonna drill a hole there so I can put a bolt there or a cotter pin. Maybe use this as my cotter pin and probably hold that thing in there with about without a bunch of cord. So or I might be taking maybe I don't know. But I'll be right back with the video of me drilling and putting tappet screws in this thing to hold it. I got some more metal coming Friday when I have my visit um it's going to take microwave skin and i'm going to use where there's a really nasty holes at then i'm going to put the microwave skin there um this corner right here is mostly what my main concern is but the other side is not as bad as that side you can tell it's there but it's starting to fade so you can see there was a bolt here probably been there was one no. Yeah, this side's starting to fall down. So I got a bolt coming out through there. So so I got a couple issues, but I'll fix them. Um, I'm going to get my ratchet and hoping I can put this thing together without it falling apart. So I'll be right back after I get all my tools and everything. I'll be right back. Bye. Alright, I'm back. So I'm going to point you down. I don't know if you can able to see that or not, but I got to move. Got my tainers of tappet screws, self tapping self. one all right pick up the camera we're gonna try to get some on the inside more on the inside so.
summer. I got that one started. But... Yep, my drill bit slid the brake on me. Figured. I got the cheap drill bits. I don't like. I have no choice. I have to buy the cheap ones. There's another one. That bought him some good metal. Okay. The next one will be on this side. I have to do this on both sides. Um, that thing's not going anywhere now. I have another bracket I am going to use. It's going to go through this way and attach to this metal bar I have on this side. I'm actually going to drill a hole if I, if I get a bit it will fit it. So I'll touch that. Yes it will. See what I'm doing? Got it there, and I'm gonna drill through, through the side. All right, got that through. But I'll be right back. I gotta grab the piece I was gonna use. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry I had you pointing down the down by my legs. But I was checking out to see it because I didn't hear the beep. So now we're going to put my Christmas tree bit. Sorry the noise in the background. Um, I just got people all right there goes one side now I'm just gonna make sure my the bracket I'm using all right hot all right now we're gonna find the bracket I have Look at there. Alright, so that'll be perfect. I got a perfect all the way through, and it still bolts. And I'll, what I'll do is take some top rivets, and I might make them bigger and put bolts. Uh, so, let's see if we can get this put on there. I don't have any other long enough bolts and then the screws on the bottom these two holes right here is not gonna hit any solid frame if I do it's gonna hit rust it's all it's gonna hit so me doing this make it better um, I gotta do it the same with on the other side so I'll be right back all right everybody I'm back I got a bolt holding that up close to the frame as I can this actually, this bracket right here came from a, a deep fryer. It was the main bolt that hold the plastic on the bottom. Um, so. I'm going to undo you for a moment. Alright, I'm back. I had to put two tappet screws here. I have another nut. Go on front of this one, so I'm jamming that one back there. 
with this other nut. Um, this is not the right materials to use to fix a wagon. But I am going to do it anyways. So, we're going to see what we can do. Alright, I think that's not going to go nowhere. So, I got two bolts right here loose. They only ain't holding nothing, so I'm going to use this bolt. Now that's pretty... So i got two holes I can go for. So i put this one and this one. And I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back now. Um, so I fixed that side. Then I noticed this side started drooping a little bit, so... I got the other bracket over here. You can see all the tools and snap one drill bit. Don't get the cheap brand drill bits. I learned that the lesson now. Uh, that's like the second time I bought them. They're easy on me. I don't. But now my next plan is work on putting that hitch pin for that to keep that thing down so that I'm not using a bungee cord to hold it. But look at this. There's no more give in the wall. I'm going to get some other angle iron pieces. And then I'm going to get some better drill bits. And then I'm going to drill a bunch of holes. Um, yes, the floor pan's almost done. But I'm going to use... Um, I don't have that material yet. So probably whenever I get another chance to come out here. And I'll make a part two video of this. Uh, patching up all the holes and everything. Just to be on the safe side. The tailgate, on the other hand, will open on one side because it's rusted out the bottom of this. So I will make some improvements. And uh, it's still structural. It just lost its lip here. Um, but you can see one of the bolts right there. So I'll be right back after I unhitch this rider and get this thing moved back and then onto the porch so I can work on it a lot easier. So this is my setup right now. I have it doing it. Um, if you can't see the bungee cord, uh, I'm going to try to move out of your way. But you see this bungee cord right here? It's went that away under and it hooked over here to have it hitched. So what I'm going to do, figure out what size this was. Um, so I could put this on there for unhitching and hitching. It'd be on the safe side. Um, and so I'll be right be uh, back with that video. And I'm hoping you guys enjoy this video. This is I know I have not posted a video for about probably the last week. Um, I've been busy working around. That. I have not had a chance to grab the camera. Um, after I get done, I'll get you back. Show you what I'm on doing for the hitch wise and um, see if it'll work. I'll be right back. I hope you guys enjoy the video and put a thumbs up for the video. Um, there's going to be about a total of four parts of this video. I'm going to try to get them done.